Hi everybody, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. Here we are in part five of our eight-part basic training series for CyberLink Power Director. Now we've got a small movie, a little one-track movie on our timeline, and we're going to have some fun with some special effects. Now special effects can be found in the effect room here by clicking on the upper left of the program. We'll select effect, and you can see they come in a variety of categories. There are style effects for adding cool special effects to our movie. There are also color presets and color LUTs, which we go into in the book. Color LUTs are pretty advanced and it's kind of a cool feature in PowerDirector. I show you how to download LUTs and use them in the book, but these are basically color presets. They're color grading for your movie. They allow you to make your movie look more cinematic and to set the tone for your movie. In addition to regular effects, there are, by the way, video overlays. These are little animated uh, graphics that can be used on top of your movie. You can see a preview of any one by selecting it. You see it over in the preview window there. You see the animation. And these are customizable, of course. And then there are particles. And particles are things you can see like shooting stars, flower petals, hearts, and things like rain and snow. They're pretty cool too. And each of these can be, of course, customized. But let's just stick with our effects for now. And I'm gonna add an effect to my movie. I'm going to take, here's my movie basically. It was shot on kind of a cloudy day overlooking the Mississippi. But let's look at the category of scenery presets and let's make this look like a green grassland. So I'm gonna drag that down onto my clip. You can see how it looks now when I drag the effect onto the clip. It enriches the green, makes it look a little more vivid. And you can add more than one effect to a video clip at one time. So I'm gonna go up here to my style effects and I'm gonna select snow, kind of contradicting my greeny grassland. So we'll grab snow, drag it down onto the clip. And now it's snowing even though it's very green. Now, when I select the clip on the timeline, by the way, you notice when I add an effect to a clip on the timeline, I get a little eye and information indicator, which if I hover over it will tell me what effects have been applied. But you'll also notice whenever I select any clip on the timeline, I get function buttons that appear along the top of the timeline. And within these function buttons are a number of designers. These are workspaces for creating various effects or enhancing your movie. When I select a clip that has effects added to it, you notice that one of the function buttons I get is called effect. And when I click on that, I can make adjustments to my effects here in the effects settings panel. Now, color presets, I can't make any adjustments to when that's selected. There are no options, but when I select snow, you notice I have a number of options here for affecting the effect or controlling the effect. I can change whether the snow falls directly down or whether the wind is affecting it. I can set how big the smallest snowflake is and how big the largest one is. So I can make this into a veritable blizzard if I want, increase the density, and you can see how that looks. Here's my snowstorm in the middle of summer. So most effects, at least in the category of adding overlays, are adjustable here in the effects panel. To temporarily disable an effect, all I need to do is just uncheck it. To remove it completely, I just select it and click the minus button. And the effects are removed completely. Now, I added the effect directly to the clip. One nice feature in PowerDirector is that you can also add the effects as an adjustment layer or as an effect overlay. To do that, I'm just going to right click on the track headers here on the right. Let's do that a little higher so you can see it. If I select the option to add tracks, I can add additional video tracks or audio tracks. I'm going to set those both to zero, but I do want to add an effect track. I'm going to add that effect track above track two, which means it's actually going to be attached to track one. I'll show you what I mean. We'll set that to one, click OK, and now I have an additional track here that says effects. Any effects I add to this track are going to affect the clips that are on the track below it. So if I select snow and drag it down here to the effects track, I can actually stretch it out. And now every single clip that is under it, you can see on the timeline, is going to have that effect applied to it. So that's very nice. And you notice when I select the effect, instead of getting an effect 
function button, I get modify, but it still takes me to the same place. When I click on it, I still go into effect settings where I can modify the look of that particular effect. That's the basics of effects. The effects are very, very good in Cyberlink PowerDirector. Let's go ahead and just delete that. Now, in addition to the regular effects and the particle effects and the overlays, if I go to all content, you notice a lot of these categories say free templates up in the upper left-hand corner. This will take you to the director zone, a very cool feature that Cyberlink has opened up where people can donate effects they've created or particles they've created, and you can download them and use them in your projects absolutely free. There are over half a million of them up there. And you can go up there and find templates for creating DVDs, for creating particles, for creating titles. They're all free for you to go download just by clicking that blue button. Now in part six, we're going to explore something called keyframing, a more advanced way to create special effects for your movie in part six of our eight part basic training for CyberLink PowerDirector. Hope you'll join me.